Curtis Grevenance. All right, welcome back. Only here in Montana. All right, maybe Wyoming would give them a little street cred. Uh, do we go from wildfires to snow in less than a day? In this week's weather wise, Easter weekend was an extremely busy one for firefighters as the April fire danger was and is unusually high. It feels way too early for this, but Mother Nature has other plans. Wildfires have hit Montana recently, and these are not just small blazes. A little over a week ago, a very large grass fire charred upwards of 25,000 acres near Browning. Last week and throughout Easter weekend, fire crews were kept busy with a slew of other fires. The Greeno Potomac Volunteer Fire Department mopped up a burn pile that turned into three out-of-control fires. In Mark County, city and county fire volunteers had to handle a fire that grew to over 1,100 acres on Friday. Eastern Montana, North and South Dakota have also seen fires pop up in the dry and windy conditions. And of course, close to Helena, some people near Birdseye were evacuated on Easter Sunday as flames came very close to homes. Mutual aid volunteer firefighters, the DNRC, and Forest Service crews protected all structures. Part of the reason areas of Montana have looked like this is because March's precipitation looked like this. It was the 10th driest March on record in Montana and the driest since 2004. March is typically one of the wettest months of the year. A dry early spring, warm temperatures, and strong wind are a bad recipe, especially when the dead and dried fine fuels have not greened up yet. Even if a red flag warning has not been issued for dangerous fire weather conditions, please use this past couple of weeks as a barometer for the early season fire danger. Montana already has had over 32,000 acres burn so far this year. And now, you're a little more weather-wise.